Hey, good morning, guys. Cheers. Welcome to Morning Coffee Talks. Happy Friday. This morning, we're going to talk about workout and diet a little bit. Look, guys, it all comes down to two things. Let's not make it difficult, right? Two things. One, being consistent with your workouts, and two, being consistent in your diet. Now, working out-wise, I mean, you don't have to work out seven days a week like I do at all. Three to four days a week is plenty. If you're putting in the work and you're putting in effort, three to four days a week of a nice, mildly intense workouts for 45 minutes is all you need. Three to four days a week, 45 minutes, if you're actually putting in the work, right? You're actually putting in effort, sweating good, you know, getting that pump. Three to four days a week is all you need working out-wise. That's it, right? But diet is all of key, right? That's like 80% is diet. And I'm not talking about going on a diet. I'm talking about what is your diet? Like what is your t daily food intake? Because it's not about going on a diet. It's about making a lifestyle change. That's what we're about over here. A diet is something that doesn't last long. You're going to go on it for a little bit, lose that weight. Then you're going to go back to your regular old habits of eating and gain it right back. So we don't want that. You guys want a lifestyle change is what it's called. We're going to change it up. Change the way you eat for good. It's okay to have a cheap meal, a snack every once in a while, but you need to maybe put them cookies down a little bit, put that pop down a little bit more, them chips, all that fried food and stuff, right? Try to eat a little healthier. Small wins lead to large wins. That's how it works. So you stop eating them two or three Oreo cookies you eat a day and one less Coca-Cola, you might start seeing some changes. Get out and move a little more. And it ain't got to be extreme either. Get out and get your steps in. I recommend ten to 15,000 steps a day. If you're, if you're trying to lose weight or you know be in decent shape, you ain't got to go out and run or anything like that. But go out and walk, man. Just be consistent with it. Our motto over here is simple, not easy. How true is that? that especially when it comes to diet. That it's very simple. Just don't eat it. But it ain't easy. I get it, man. I, I want the sweets too. I love donuts and sweets and cookies dude that's that's my shit right <laughs> but i just ain't gonna eat it once a week i will give myself one meal once a week and that's usually i like donuts a lot so i usually get like two donuts or something you know what i'm saying but most time it ain't worth it because i just feel kind of like shit afterwards and whatnot so it's, it's not really that worth it anyway you know what i mean and hydrate drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water I think you should be drinking close to a gallon of water a day. I know I need to. But that's what it's all about, guys. Being consistent in your workouts and being consistent in your diet. It ain't got to be that difficult. Me personally, like I said on here before, I do a low-carb diet besides fruit. I'm not saying that's for everybody at all. That's just what I do. I feel great. I feel great with it, right? I have a lot of energy get through my workouts, all that stuff like that. But if anything, I would just say eat clean, man. So try to stay out of the middle of the food aisle at the grocery store, right? Try to get less of the box stuff. You, most of the stuff you want, it ain't gonna last more than a week, right? Your fruits, your meats and stuff like that, if you leave it sitting out, I mean, you can't leave meat sitting out. Shit will go bad, right? You gotta put it in the freezer. So shit that lasts weeks and weeks and months and months. You might wanna rethink about eating that, right? Just try to eat clean. So fruits, vegetables, and meat. That's what I say. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with carbs. I just don't eat too many of them. You know what I mean? But it's not about going on a diet. Like I said, it's about a lifestyle change. So remember that. So Because people always say, oh, I don't, I can't stay on a diet. Well, I'm not talking about staying on a diet. I'm talking about change your life. It's your choice, right? You're the one who gets to choose. And if you make the change, you're the one that changes. You're the one that did that. Not me, not anyone else. You're the one that made that decision for yourself. I can't stop you from eating that cookie. I can't, I can't make you get up and go do that workout, right? But I'm just here to motivate you guys. And hopefully you hear my loud mouth and my dumb ass talk, you know, motivate you guys to be like, hey man, remember he said, man, you know, just put that cookie down. Don't eat that, don't drink that extra pop. You know what I mean? And delay that gratification, guys. Put in the work. Simple, not easy, baby. But if I can do it, I know y'all can do it. I've been there. Look at my before and after picture. 
Look at my before and after picture. That was less than one year, really. That whole transformation, right? So if I can do it, I know y'all can do it. Because like I always say, I ain't special. I'm just putting in the work over here. That's it. But I want to build your guys' confidence. I want to build your guys' physiques. I want to build you guys, have that warrior mentality. Never say never. That's what we're about over here at Men of Action. So come follow along. Come get these workouts in with me. Come let me motivate you. Let's be the leaders, protectors, and providers that our families and communities need. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Cheers. Love you all. And as always, go get you some, baby.